So what I'm doing here is I'm adding clear, clean water to the left side of the stalk. And then I'm coming up the other side, but I'm leaving a few little white paper patches because what will happen is the um, paint won't go on the bits that you leave dry. And what it will do is it will bleed into the other sections. So I'm just gonna add a bit more color in there. Can you see how I'm keeping it on one side? And then if I want to push it over, I just give it a little bit of help. But see this section here, this is what I left dry. So that's why the paint's not um, going on it. I'll do it again. Okay, didn't quite wash the brush very well. But that's okay, because I want it dark underneath the stem anyway. Bring that down. Leave a few little white pieces of paper come through there. If you go outside the square, nobody minds. Mix up your colour. And then I'm putting it on one side because that's going to be my darker side. And then I'm going to get let that bleeding effect just go through to the other side, but help it if I want. Now to do the um, green part of the plant, I'm going to take a little bit of that stem colour through there so it's not isolated. And then I'm going to take some of the Australian dark leaf green. And again, up close to the plant, I haven't quite got so much of a... Um, too much about the light to darks because it's quite dark in that section. And then just allow it to bleed through. Now here you can see my paint is still wet, but I'm mixing some of that green through there just to make that a little bit of, give it a little bit of tonal variation. Why not? A little bit darker under there to help with the plant. The reason why you can't put a little green on its base. You know what, I actually like the green. Hell, I'll throw some around. And there we have a piece.